it was interesting. It was at some point even boring because, because we had to repeat so many times the same thing. And even the scuba divers were like, oh, this is, this is super easy. I can do it again, no? Oh, what? No, this is not easy. This movie is fantastic. I love what you did with this. And the story is just so phenomenal. Such a great job. Thank you. Uh, what drew you to the story in the first place? Well, Jose's story, no? It's, it's just such an amazing, motivational, moving story. I couldn't resist it. It was such an opportunity and a privilege to be working on it. Can you talk to me a little bit about the challenges of adapting a real story into a movie, especially because this is adapting a full life? Well, of course, the licenses that you have to take no, from, from time to time, because it's impossible to portray a 50-year experience in, in two hours. So that, that was a, a big thing, managing time. I could spend like a minute in a decade and then, you know, go slower on other part of, parts of the story. Um, I think this, this was, a, I mean, being a story that happened in the fields, but at NASA, we had different environments and different locations to, to be on. And I, I think it, it was like a dream. The cast is just phenomenal. Uh, what did Michael Pena and Rosa Salazar bring to the roles that wasn't necessarily in the script? Their own experiences, I think, helped a lot. Michael being a Mexican-American, Rosa being a Peruvian-American, uh, which is very different from my own experience being a Mexican. You know, that specificity of 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 the of that community, I think, was super necessary for the roles. I think they have such a creative spirit, both of them, and such a funny, heartwarming. I don't know vibe that that it, it was it was unthinkable to have had someone else play those roles. Yes, they were just they were fantastic. Uh, and then can you talk to me a little bit about filming the training montages, especially the underwater sequences? Well, that was like actually having, you know, military training happen before my eyes. <laughs> because we had to, you know, we, have, we had to have the same safety measures that they have. We had to have the train, trained persons perform that because it was a, a dangerous uh, stunt. But, I mean, it was interesting. It was, at some point, even boring because we had to repeat so many times the same thing. And even the scuba divers were like, oh, this is, this is super easy. I can do it again. No, oh, What? No, this is not easy. I love the through line of Miss Young in the movie. Can you talk about the importance of putting a spotlight on the relationship between Jose and his teacher? Well, I think the... the significant thing about Ms. Young was that she had a shared experience. She was uh, a migrant herself. And so I, I, I'm so moved about, you know, just thinking about how she could see in that kid something that was important to her as well, and how that became something tangible that changed his life forever and his family's. And and I think that whenever people can do that, you know, for another person, you should. It's, it's super important to, to touch lives in that way. And then can you talk a little bit about working with Jose to really make sure that everyone got the details right? I met Jose during the pandemic. We started Zooming a lot. And I, and I constantly felt that he was like an uncle. We had this very all oh, familiar conversations. Adela was always on them. So I don't know, it, it was come on, super easy to come close, speak. Uh, it was a, a very nice thing for me to have him on my phone while on set. You know, I can text an astronaut and ask him about the, whether if this is accurate or not. So it was, it was a, a magnificent companion on the journey. And then what was the most surprising part of the process? 
we decided and I pushed real hard to shoot this film in Mexico. And I mean, I was, you know, pretending to be sure that was a good idea all along. But then when, you know, we started um, faking all these places into, you know, the, o sea, North California, Texas, Florida, and we were all around Mexico cities. So that was surprising. Like watching, when I watched the film, I said, I'm like, oh, we did that, yeah. And then what do you think the key is to bringing a true story like this to the screen? And why do you think audiences are so drawn to them? I think there's times where life can be so unbelievable. I think this is one of those cases, no? That you, you just see this story and it's such a, an amazing, unbelievable thing that actually happened and it should be elevated into, you know, this very big scope film that we did and I don't know I'm I'm so happy because it's gonna this is gonna inspire the life of many but it's gonna be um it's gonna be a nice thing for our community to watch and to see on the mainstream so I'm happy because it, it has a double service well, I love that. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Like I said, the movie is fantastic and I cannot wait for more people to see it. 